Congresswoman, thanks so much for coming on. It does seem like thanks, as long as everybody can agree that you want to make the lives of the people who live here better, then you can't kind of go too far off course. Do you think that that, you know, everyone's sort of waking up to that? Are we moving toward remembering that or, or no? I, I think that really is the critical thing here is that when we have Democrats and Republicans in positions of leadership, of course, there are going to be disagreements on different issues or how we approach solving the problems of the American right. people. But so long as the goal is the same, the goal being, hey, we want to do what is best for the American people and our country, then we know that progress is possible. And that's where we, we absolutely need more than just sane leaders, because the problem is bigger than just insanity. The problem that we have now is leaders who are so willing to manipulate the American people to further their own selfish political interests yes. or money or power or whatever it is. And we see this very clearly in, in how everything in our country is being racialized, that this is an intentional strategy to tear us apart based on the color of our skin because they think that there's some political gain to be had from it, and they don't care at all about the destruction that they leave uh, in their wake. And this is what we as voters need to reject and choose leaders who do put the American people in our country first, who share that objective from both political parties. Yeah, that the example you just gave, which is at the center of so much of the rhetoric, is such an obvious dead end. It's, it's you know, the, the, the end point of that is, is violence and division. Everyone can tell. You've got to think that there are people in the Democratic Party who get that. Uh, are there? Uh, I sure hope so. Unfortunately, as uh, we see too often, uh, more and more Democrats are pushing this, this racialization. They are pushing uh, more fomenting of anger and hatred and divisiveness uh, that, that really is destroying us. It, it's causing more suffering and more harm to the American people and the fabric of our country and undermining these values that our country was founded on. Uh, I think this is where, when you look at the election that happened uh, in Virginia, you saw Terry McAuliffe represented that fomenting of divisiveness, this racialization, and Virginia voters rejected that. And again, regardless of political party, this is what I hope we see more of in the country, that voters take a stand and make a choice, Democrat or Republican. We want leaders who sincerely care for our people and care for our country and who will serve, putting those interests of service above self. Man. It's just so inspiring to hear that, and I, I got to think that there, the vast majority of Americans agree with what you, what you just said, no matter what they look like or who they voted for. So thank you for saying it. Tulsi Gabbard, former member of Congress from Hawaii.